So probably you heard me before in past videos, I'm talking about content energy and transit energy. And the main difference between these two is that in content, as the name implies, means that the system contains or the energy is in the system, which um, is just an abstract form to tell it. It's not actually that energy is inside, but you could say so. So just imagine it's something like that for now. When we go to entropy, you're going to see that all this energy concept is a little bit more abstract. But right now, I think it's a good idea you get it as this. For example, a kinetic energy is contained in the system because, of course, kinetic energy, it's moving. As the system moves, the energy is moving. Potential energy is also contained in the system. For example, you got this. You have it up here. Uh, the system contains this potential energy. And internal energy, this one I love it, is all that is inside, for example, the rotation, vibration. We're going to see a little bit more on that in a special video talking about internal energy. And of course you're asking what's not content energy. For example, the heat and work are never ever uh, contained in the system. These both guys need to be in transit or transferring or between boundaries, etc. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring, so if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.